Did you know that there are actually times when you're more psychic than others just because of what's going on with the planets and the frequencies on the earth? This is Krishanti with Krishanti.com and I'm so happy you're here. We can talk about all of this fun stuff related to psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. Um, as you know by now, we are all intuitive and we can all be psychic. It's time to dispel that myth that only some people have it. We've all got it and it's very natural. Animals have it. It's an instinct. And what's really funny is that there are times when we are more psychic than others. And it's because of what's going on. Like we live in an environment that is comprised of frequency. So the earth itself or herself has a resonance. It's called the Schumann frequency or the Schumann resonance. And that kind of shifts, like it, it changes that, that vibration. But that has an effect on us, on every living being on the earth. And sometimes when that resonance shifts, we get a little more psychic. Same thing happens when the sun sends out solar flares and like there's this, this like intense energy. Some of us who aren't psychic will just notice that things are just really more intense. Like life feels more intense. People are acting a little more aggro or just there's an intensity to everything. Well, it's in times like this too that your psychic energy is stronger. You're able to pick up on more things. Sometimes though with the solar flares, it's so strong that it scrambles things up and you just end up being like super emotional and like not able to really cope as well. So it can go one way or the other. A lot of people also find that they're more psychic when it's a full moon or when it's a new moon. It's not really so much a mystery that the planets have a resonance and a frequency and a vibration that affects our planet and therefore affects us. I'm sure their scientific calculations and measures, and they have measured the Schumann resonance and they have measured solar flares, but um, measuring like kind of other things that shift. And they haven't really gone and done a lot of work on how that affects bio matter, humans and animals, but it does. We, we tell like those of us who are in it, we can tell like, oh my God, full moon, I'm feeling really psychic, you know? Um, and, and it's funny, now you personally might have it like a little bit different than other people. And if you're noticing or thinking about that, please share in the comments. Like, are there times when you know you're more psychic? Like times in your life, like maybe it's closer to your birthday or in the fall or when you're near the ocean or in a forest or full moon, new moon. Um, so many of us have different things that like affect that, that psychicness. Something that's really interesting that can help you be more psychic is um, a sense of like really needing it. So one of the cases in which you hear about in these stories about people having these incredible experiences of, of being super powerful or like incredibly psychic or just knowing like not to do something or to do something are in moments of like extreme need. Like it's like, okay, like just then you're like Superman, like, like lifting up that car, you know, it's, it's, it's cool how that, how that can work, but we don't always want to be in that kind of mode to be psychic. Like we don't want it to always have to be in like life or death mode. So then, you know, tune to like tune into those times when you know, like check it out, like look up what's happening in the skies and see if your intuition is a little higher. Um, astrologers usually do talk about that too, like when energies are opening and it's things are flowing more. It does have an effect on all of us. We are affected by our, our environment and that affects our psychicness. If you want to open up your psychicness more, I have so much at Krishanti.com. One of them is a third eye opening meditation with Krishna who actually came. Really, that, that was channeled to me by that being, which is so sacred. 
Um, but I've got spirit guide meditations and workshops, psychic development courses, and you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one at, I'm still doing that right now, um, training people to become professional intuitives. There definitely is a need for light workers on the planet. So if you're drawn to do this kind of work, come on in, the water's warm. We'd love to have you. Um, and I think that sums it up for this video. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you later. Bye.